Nassim Taleb is a mathematician famous for his book, The Black Swan, um, which is about uh, the impact of um, improbable or uh, unpredicted events. And uh, his work in mathematics is in statistics. He works on uh, statistics of things called fat tails. Um, it, recently, he's been publishing uh, small papers Whenever there's something in the news, he publishes something about it, uh, applying his research into fat tales to the problem at hand. Um, recently, he published this paper, Systemic Risk, Risk of Pandemic via Novel Pathogens, Coronavirus, a Note. Uh, this is published at the New England Complex Systems Institute, which is part of the New York University School of Engineering. Um, in, in this, uh, he applies his uh, statistical approach to some questions regarding the coronavirus, such as the production ratio, mortality rates, etc. Uh, when he applies this to the spreading rate, um, now I'm going to quote from the paper, um, he finds that uh, fundamentally viral contagion events depend on the interaction of agents in physical space and, with the forward-looking uncertainty that novel outbreaks necessarily carry, reducing connectivity temporarily to slow flows of potentially contagious individuals is the only approach that is robust against misestimations in the properties of a virus or other pathogen. So, uh, when he says uh, reducing connectivity temporarily, basically what he means is travel bans. So, he's... Uh, Maybe not an outright ban, but um, uh, he's talking about slowing flows of potentially contagious individuals. Could be a travel ban, could be some kind of quarantine following travel, uh, could be restrictions on traveling through different places. Uh, as he points out um, in the conclusion, these observations lead to the necessity of a precautionary approach to current and potential pandemic outbreaks that must include constraining mobility patterns in the early stages of an outbreak, especially when little is known about the true parameters of the pathogen. Uh, so again, the conclusion of his paper, after he applies this uh, fat tail analysis to several aspects of the coronavirus outbreak, uh, his conclusion is constraining mobility patterns. So again, that's um, some kind of uh, quarantine or travel ban. So ba basically his position is that a travel ban or a large-scale quarantine is the only real way to constrain a, in, uh, something like a pandemic um, of an unknown virus uh, in a situation where there's little information about it. I think this is important to keep in mind because recently we've seen a lot of articles in the news about the uh, negative effects of quote-unquote stigma, especially like this tweet from the New York Times. We must be guided by solidarity, not stigma, the Director General of the World Health Organization warned on Saturday. The greatest enemy we face is not the virus itself, it's the stigma that turns us against each other. So, of course, uh, we don't want people to turn against each other, but I think saying the greatest enemy we face is not the virus, it's the stigma. Uh, I think that uh, from the perspective of fat tails, according to Taleb, um, the greatest enemy we face may not be the stigma, it may be the virus, and uh, we don't know. And so, uh, something like a travel ban or quarantine, widespread quarantine, might be appropriate. It's worth pointing out that um, in the last SARS outbreak, they did institute widespread quarantines, uh, especially famous in Taiwan. They quarantined uh, over 150,000 people, I think. Um, they had like a 24 cases of SARS and ended up quarantining um, over, over 100,000 people. And um, they did stop the spread of the virus. Uh, there's some question whether that quarantine was excessive, but um, again, it was effective in stopping the virus. Same thing in Singapore. They In Singapore, in the last SARS outbreak, they quarantined um, a large number of people by home isolation. Uh, this was after they had an outbreak in a hospital, and that was also effective. Singapore was able to 
contain the virus. So Singapore and Taiwan, um, following Talib's advice, maybe the rest of the world should pay attention to. Thanks.